Camacho, here he is, the number one UFC middleweight contender. And in this era, that's saying something, right? To get through this gauntlet and emerge out of the pack, realize a UFC title shot. Now the world finds out what exactly this man can do. With. You know, John, as we've spoken about, it's shark infested waters trying to manage and navigate through this division. It's one thing to get here, and it's a major accomplishment. But to become the champion is a whole nother level. This guy feels like in his thorough preparation, the intensity at which he moves in the training room, he is more than ready to take the belt off the champion's way. And you can be sure when the champion comes out at a moment, challenger's eyes will be fixed upon him. We got a middleweight title fight tonight, folks. Let's go. Doubt him now, folks. Doubt him now. The undisputed UFC middleweight champion, Drakus Duplessis. And even though, of course, he wanted to beat Israel Adesanya for the title, it ended up being Sean Strickland. This man's the best in the world. And he has had knockers and doubters every step of the way. They knocked his cardio. They knocked his grappling. The man can fight. The man's a born fighter, as are a lot of individuals who grow up in South Africa. And now that he's the champion, in theory, he's 20 to 30% better. We'll see if the incumbent can get dethroned here tonight. Well, no air conditioning, no problem. We are ready to go with more live action from Gio Messi Arena here in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And now our tail of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> fighters as usual tonight. Every time, I mean, they're loud. They're behind their guys. They almost propel the Brazilian fighters to some of their greatest accomplishments, to some of their best performances to date. And that, that's the danger in the engagement there. Nice kick. Just misses with the left hook. And there's a takedown attempt. Oh, he's got him hurting here. Big right hand. Oh, big elbow. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans. Not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to sleep. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Well, block that punch. Takedown defense holds up. 
effective punch from the clinch there by Duplessis. Fighters separate from the clinch. Wow, huge head kick. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, clean hook there. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eight. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Oh, well timed and placed overhand by Drakus Duplessis. It won't take many of those. Duplessis is bleeding from the mouth. Daniel looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. Just over two minutes to go in round one. He's going guillotine. Oh, that guillotine shape is tight. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Duplessis in half court. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. And now he's got the back. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. Duplessis is able to transition back to side control now. Big right hook there by the champ. Making all these shots count. In the half guard. Come on, you got a strip. Let's go push those hips. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine. But the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten them out and just go for the finish. That guillotine is tight. Oh, what a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Get side now. Great submission defense on this way. Duplessis getting absolutely worked here from the top. Let's see if there's an uptick in his urgency here as he tries to get back up. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Heading back to the corner now after a competitive round. And Duplessis' corner now. We'll take a look at that lip. The cut man is in, and you got to tighten that up. It's really starting to bleed now. We'll see if... Uh, it rears its ugly head as this fight continues. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough Ready, that your chin is. Ready. Round two, hey. Oh, he got him real good, too. It's a big knee. Oh, my goodness. What a kick. Nice block in the follow-up counter with the jab. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Well, I'm blind as a bat, but it looks like that's a cut. It is. Yeah, you can see a little blood starting to come out there. What a beautiful shot landed that cut his opponent over. And he lands a knee. 
I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Lands a jab. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume time. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Oh, loaded up on that uppercut, but it's no good. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Oh, he lands a huge right hand. Oh, he lands a kick to the leg. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even this this performance, a little... Oh! Still plenty of time to go here, round two. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are gonna have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this one, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, nice kick. Oh, good block there. All right, seems as though his... Trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not to... Now he's trying to guillotine. Oh, that looks wicked tight. Great job maintaining position over submission. Very smart. Great fight IQ. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Another strike gets through from the top position. All right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another ground and pound strike. Beautiful punch lands there from inside the guard. Back mount now. All right, big storyline starting to develop here. That cut really starting to gap wide open as this fight continues. And you can watch him, you see him. You can see it becoming his focus as he's popping him on that cut, and it's starting to open up more and more as the fight goes longer. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestling stand-up, get to your knees, Post your hands. Don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hook. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control. Because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free. So you have more freedom to use yours. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it.
Ready to fight? Ready. Go Round ahead. three of a possible five. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, Superman punch is good. with the jab. All right, we set it inside for the official decision. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 43 seconds of round number three. Playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed USC middleweight champion of the world, Gregus Silva Duplessis. And still the king of the 185 pounders. There he is, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion after the knockout tonight in his title defense. And that's got to feel pretty good. There were a lot of people backing the number one contender coming in here tonight, but he certainly muted all of that noise and then some. The celebration is on in the corner. Congratulations to the reigning defending, still undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world.